Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we're in the Adelaide Botanic Gardens and I thought it would be really nice to come out here and film a Q&A. Now to be honest I did actually have a video like planned and ready to film to go up for tonight but because of things outside of my control that happened that video got completely ruined which is really really unfortunate but I was scrambling to think of what I could film for a video for today and last night decided to put up a like question asking thingamabob on my Instagram stories and then also made a comment in the community feature to ask if you guys had any questions and you did so today we're going to be answering those questions and without further ado let's jump into the video so I'm recording the audio off of my phone and I'm also reading the questions off of my phone today. So if the audio is really dodgy and you can hear me holding it, then I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'll do my best. I may have to revert to the DSLR audio. Um, we'll see how we go. Hopefully the audio is not terrible in this video. You guys, there's, there are ducks all around me right now and I love ducks. So I'm like really, really happy. First question. Thoughts on zero waste. I think people who participate in zero waste are absolutely amazing. I think it's a really, really wonderful thing to do. And I look for every opportunity to try to reduce the amount of waste that I produce. So instead of using disposable makeup wipes, I use a muslin cloth and just rewash the muslin cloth. I try not to use things that are disposable too much. I try to like reuse things as much as possible. So yeah, zero waste I think is a really, really wonderful thing to do. Um, it's not something that I would be able to commit to anytime soon, but I think anyone who does commit to like a zero waste lifestyle is absolutely wonderful. Would you publish a book someday? I, I would sell my soul to get a publishing deal. So I would really, really love that. What is your favorite song slash songs at the moment? I think I had someone else ask what my favorite album was at the moment. I've been listening to the new Gorillaz album a lot recently. Uh, aside from that, what have I been listening to? Oh, Dodie's new EP. I love it so much. I've been listening to it on repeat for ages and ages. And aside from that, probably just Indigo La End. What is your job outside of YouTube? I am a marketing assistant at a arts organization here in Adelaide. It's a very, very bright and colorful place to work and I love it so much. I'm really, really enjoying my work there. What are you most grateful for from your time living abroad? Um, probably all of it. I'm really grateful that I got to go at all. I'm very much aware that getting the opportunity to live overseas is a very, very privileged and fortunate thing. So I just am so grateful that I got to go live in Japan at all. I'm really grateful that it opened my eyes to being an outsider in a different culture. And now I have a greater understanding of what it's like for other people to try and to assimilate into my culture. And yeah, all of the experiences, I'm grateful for every part of my experience living abroad. If you weren't a writer, what would you be? There was one point where I wanted to be a fashion designer. Um, I don't know if I would still want to do that. Um, I did a TAFE course. Okay, Mr. Duck. Um, I did a TAFE course in fashion design, so like a short course in fashion design. So I know how to use a sewing machine, I know how to sew. Um, but probably if I wasn't, if I didn't want to be a writer, I'd probably would work in marketing or do something like that. I quite like content creation and digital marketing and social media and all that kind of stuff. So um, I will stress that I don't, I will stress that I don't do writing as a full-time gig. I am a marketing assistant, as I said, or psychology. I wouldn't mind being a psychologist. Like I find that really interesting or probably astrology, astronomy, astrology, astrology. Um, because I love space and I love planets and I know that that would be an incredibly difficult degree to do. I find space so interesting and I love it and I'm like wearing my little satin necklace right now. Um, but yeah, I think that would be really cool as well. What are your favorite Japanese books? Also, do you read French literature? I haven't read anything. I've read a couple of pieces by Charles Baudelaire, but not that much. If you have recommendations for French literature, I'd love to hear them. Um, but in terms of Japanese books, I need to read more. I have so many Japanese authors I want to check out, but just haven't had the chance yet. Um, as many of you guys know, probably that my favorite Japanese writer is currently Haruki Murakami. His book, The Wind Up Bird Chronicle is my favorite by him. Are you working on any fiction writing projects? If so, tell me more. Um, I am presently working on a big creative writing project um, I've been working on it for a very, very long time. It's not finished yet. It's taking a long time to be done. Hopefully, at some point, it's going to be ready. I'm, look, I'm hoping, honestly, to finish it this year, but I've said that a number of times over the last couple years that I want to get it finished this year. 
What were your favorite cheap activities to do in Japan? Okay, when we lived in Japan, we had like no money <laughs>、um, because we had such expensive rent. We just like Yeah, didn't have a lot. So we spent a lot of time looking for things to do that were quite cheap. And my favorite thing, honestly, was just walking. And that sounds kind of silly, but I loved walking around. And we walked so much. Like, my partner and I barely caught the train. We just like walked and walked and walked to different locations. And there was one time that we actually walked overnight from one side of Tokyo to the other, which took hours and hours, but it was just a wonderful experience to see everything by foot. And obviously, if you walk everywhere, it's completely free. So it's a very cheap activity. It might sound a bit dull to some people, but I love just walking around and seeing everything. Other than that, I love going to parks.、Um, clearly, I'm sitting in a park right now, but. The parks in Japan were just so beautiful and I loved them very, very much. My favorite is Inokashira Park, which is in. Oh my god, my brain just went blank. It's in Kichijoji,、um, right next to the Ghibli Museum. The Ghibli Museum is actually located at the edge of Inokashira Park in like the Mitaka section. So I love that park. Otherwise, Yogi Park, I went there all the time. I loved it. What advice can you give to aspiring writers who experience writer's block?、Um, I don't necessarily agree with like, the concept of writer's block, and I know that this is like, a hot topic for some people.、Um, I think that there are certainly blocks that can happen to stop you from being creative, whether it's like, mental health or stress or time as a physical block. But some people speak about writer's block as if it's this like, mystical, magical thing that just happens sometimes and you just cannot write. Um, maybe it's me being closed minded, but I've never experienced anything like that.、Um, there have been times where I haven't been able to write just because I've been too tired, or because I've been stressed out, or because I haven't had the time or like, the psychological space to do it. But if I am sitting in front of a blank page, there's never been a moment where I've not been able to write. And I. Love it so much, <laughs> and I always have ideas, and I am constantly brimming with ideas, and I have too many ideas.、Um, so, it's not something I've experienced yet. Maybe in a few years' time, or maybe next month, I might experience writer's block and completely change my mind on this. But, but the only times I've had like a creative block like that is when I've just been really, really stressed. So, The way I deal with that is just by doing like stress reduction things like doing yoga, doing meditation, sleeping. Sleeping is really important, but in terms of like wanting to push yourself to be creative, it's so, so important that you're doing well psychologically, that you're not stressed out, that you're rested, and all that kind of stuff. I was wondering how to get to the Romance Car in Shinjuku Station.、Um, Look, it's a fair enough question. It's really, really hard to find.、Um, so, when you have, okay, I'll put like a diagram here. When you have Shinjuku Station, you have the north exit and the south exit, and they like face each other over that main road. You have to go to the west exit. So, don't enter from the north or south. It's just a pain in the butt. Go to the west exit. There's a counter that says romance car on it. That's where you buy romance car tickets from. If you hit Big camera, you've gone too far. If you find yourself in Kabukicho, you have gone too far. <laughs> How do you unwind after a hectic day slash week? I do yoga or I watch Ghibli movies. Any tips on finding jobs involving creative writing? When I find a job that involves creative writing, I will let you know the answer to that question.、Um, in my current job as a marketing assistant, I do a lot of copywriting. It's not quite creative, but I really enjoy it. Otherwise, I also do freelance writing as well. Also, not creative, but the physical act of writing is still something I really enjoy. So, I like doing that kind of stuff, but there aren't very many jobs with creative writing in them, sadly. What's your personality trait, MBTI? Oh, I actually did this last night. I did the test when I saw this question. So, let me pull it up and I can tell you. So, my personality type is INFJ T. It says the advocate. Um, I did this test a few years ago and I also did it when I was like 15. I think I've gotten the same answer every single time. I don't think I've changed.、Um, but my, my balance between introvert and extrovert, I am 51% introvert and 49% extrovert.、Um, I don't quite agree with that. I think I'm slightly skewed the other way, probably 51% extrovert and 49% introvert.、Um, but yeah. Your tone of voice extended from writing to your video editing. How did you do it?、Um, 
Thank you. It's really nice that you think that the tone is consistent. Um, I have no idea. Everything I make is very, very close to me, and I think that's why it might have a similar tone, that the things I'm inspired by are the same across the board, whether it's writing or video making or artwork or illustration. The same set of stuff inspires me, and the same... I'm trying to, like, portray the same meanings and explore the same things with all of the art and all of the making stuff that I do, so... Um, that's probably why the tone is a little bit consistent, but it's really nice that you think it is. A mini life update would be good. How's your masters going? What job did you get? Um, do you have any holiday plans? Did you get your fridge working? Okay, so masters, I am still going with it. I'm doing one subject a semester. Just doing it like really, really slowly at the moment so I can do full-time work. Um, my job, as I said, I'm a marketing assistant. Um, holiday plans 2019. I want to go back to Japan as soon as I'm physically able. I hope we can go back this year at some point. Um, did you get your fridge working? No, it's still not working. I'm so frustrated. They're trying to like replace it. There was a whole kerfuffle with the warranty. It was a thing. Um, hopefully it will be fixed soon. Also, please tell us what your first Ghibli film was and what was your first reaction. The first time I saw a Ghibli film, I was six or seven years old. It was spirited away and I was so confused. <laughs> and then when I was like 12, I watched, I think, House Moving Castle next or Ponyo. Um, and I loved them so, so much. And <laughs> I eventually went back and rewatched Spirited Away and understood the plot because I was a lot older. But um, yeah, I think my first reaction to Ghibli was just sort of confusion because I was just too young and I wasn't paying attention to the movie properly because it was in like after school hours care or something like that that I watched it. What's the piece of writing that you're most happy with and like to look back on? Um, my Hakone article that I wrote in Japan right before I left, I love that article so much. Um, but I also like my Shiga and Oida articles. I did articles on both of those prefectures and they're like travel articles and I love them so much. I don't go back and actively read them. Um, I don't like to be too narcissistic about it, but I do go back and look at them sometimes because I'm really happy with them. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked this impromptu q and I had no idea what to film today because all of my ideas went out the window for the other thing. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this one. If I didn't get to your question, I will respond to it textually so that everyone has a response. Um, and yeah, take care you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a lovely week. Bye bye.